Kenneth Mujuni is currently 34 years old. He studied environmental science at Makerere University and graduated with an upper second in 2016. His profession requires one to study environmental problems and the human impact on the environment, among others. After his graduation, Mujuni joined the arm of graduates looking for a blue-collar job in the country, but his search ended in failure. So after graduation, uh, I thought life is going to be easy. I thought I'm going to apply, and then after apply, people will fight for me, I get jobs. But when I, after a month, things became, began to look different. Mujuni's uncle chose to help reduce his frustration by employing him in his shop. However, the search for a job continued. Somewhere I applied, they could call me for an interview. And the, like, the, the situation I could see, Someone can even think that you, you already picked. <laughs> they have already selected what they want, so we are just wasting time. Later, the strong desire to become independent from his caretakers consumed Mujuni. I wanted a business where I can get out of home and I can still manage myself. With this in mind, Mujuni began lining up business options that he could pursue, requiring little capital that he could afford. After saving for six months from running the shop, he raised 800,000 shillings, which he added to his savings at St. Francis Investment Circle in Makerere and bought an old motorcycle at 1.6 million. So I looked at these border border people, how they work, and I, I saw that I could manage there because... I needed a business which you can start with a small money, but you still survive. So that motorcycle, didn't, I didn't gain anything from it. I, I can't tell you that I saved, but it taught to me how to ride in the Kampara. After several challenges with the old motorcycle, Mujuni chose to sell it for one million and resorted to trading in books for four months. Because I, I knew about it and it was earning though it was seasonal. So from the books, I managed to, to, to raise up to 1.6 million. Since he was a very active member of the circle at Makerere, one of its administrators bought him a new motorcycle at 4 million shillings on condition that he would pay back in two years with interest accumulating to 2 million shillings. Hence, he had to pay back 6 million shillings in 24 months. Mujun worked hard, earning between 40,000 and 60,000 shillings on a daily basis. It took me like 18 months to pay back the 6 million. I could pay money for the motorcycle. I clear all the bills, rent, ranch, but again I managed to save. It is now one year and a half since he became the full owner of the motorcycle. He is happy that he currently owns valuable property from the motorcycle business. I've managed to, to, to purchase land, almost half an acre. Eh? However, Mujuni says people who know he is a degree holder look at him as a failure. You take someone and he, he keeps asking, asking you questions. But you, do you still apply? But you keep on applying. Don't lose hope. As if he's telling you that you are lacking something. Thinking about this does not discourage him from his long-term target of starting up projects that are aligned with his profession. Most of my income goes to saving so that I can beat the target of, uh, of those projects. Mojuni warns fresh graduates that having a degree is not enough when it comes to life after studies. When you are not careful, you will just have it and die with it. Patrick Senyondo, NTV.